Hello. Well, you know, we are in a meeting about uh, catalyzing rapid social transformative change. This sounds as if we want more speed, more speed, more speed. And this is what I oppose. Speed by per se is not necessarily a good thing. I mean, the coming to power of uh, Trump, of uh, Erdogan, of Bolsonaro, so that was speed. And it was wrong, the wrong direction. My historical story that I'm t telling has been a slow development. Of course, it was triggered by certain events like the Chernobyl uh, disaster or the findings of the climatologists that global warming was really dangerous. But we needed the slow measure of a democratic state with elections typically lost uh, by the good guys and won uh, by the not so good guys. But then it so happened that in 1998, a so-called red-green coalition took over, sort of triggering the Energiewende, which is uh, typically translated into energy transition but you can just as well call it um, energy turnaround. In 1998, um, my friend Hermann Scheer, member of the parliament together with me, initiated the idea of a feed-in tariffs law. Everybody in the uh, business community and all economists, with perhaps one or two exceptions, said we are completely crazy by suggesting to make photovoltaics profitable. But this is exactly what we did. And I was, uh, in a sense, uh, Hermann Scheer's closest companion. And this led in a process of 10 or 20 years to a situation worldwide that photovoltaics became competitive, first with nuclear, now with coal. Now, what happened? In the parliament, Hermann Scheer said, we just have to step out of nuclear and of fossil and the only realistic chance is renewable energies. We said, whoever is feeding in renewable energies into the grid will be compensated based on his or her costs. That was kind of courageous, if you wish, but it worked because economies of scale led to a rapidly diminishing price. And then the Chinese were very quick in more or less adopting that philosophy. And with their economies of scale, they easily, um, they were so much faster than the Germans that much of the, the German solar industry collapsed. But nevertheless, for the world, this was great that the Chinese were so powerful and so fast also. And my own role was to say to Hermann Scheer, well, renewable energy is great and I uh, strongly support you, but the sleeping giant in terms of um, the energy um, transition or turnaround is energy efficiency. Typically, I'm telling my students at, at university, um, please calculate for me the number of kilowatt hours that you would need to lift a 10 kilograms weight from sea level to the top of Mount Everest. And the typical guess I'm getting from the students is anything like a thousand kilowatt hours, which is 
completely wrong. The physicist's answer is one quarter of a kilowatt hour, meaning one kilowatt hour is a gigantic powerhouse, but we waste it no end because it doesn't cost a thing. So I said, we also need an ecological tax reform, making energy more expensive so that efficiency becomes profitable. And that all, so um, it was sort of stagnating at the end. Nevertheless, um, after the, uh, well, another major decision by the German government was to um, step out, to phase out nuclear. But then a little later, the conservative new coalition reversed that. Only after the Fukushima disaster, um, this was reverted. And when the, the then Chancellor Angela Merkel uh, said, we now need the Energiewende, that meant essentially stepping out of nuclear. And that worked. I believe uh, in two years' time, the last um, nuclear power station in Germany will be closed. And at the same time, the German industry benefited a great deal from the Energiewende because at the Leipzig Energy Stock Exchange or Energy Exchange, we had very, very low prices for renewable energies in certain periods. And the only thing the industry had to do was to make it more flexible when, at what time, to use the energy. So when the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, you really use it. And at night, you rather uh, use only what is absolutely needed. So uh, a digitization kind of development um, came up in the industry, and it made Germany's industry more competitive than it was before. Of course, at the beginning, when we say we need um, efficiency and uh, renewable energies, the industry said, oh, you're destroying the German industry. But it was completely wrong. So all in all, you can say also the decision at the EU level of phasing out um, fossil, a bit too slow in my mind, but nevertheless, uh, Ursula von der Leyen's um, brave great, Green New Deal, etc., can be traced back to the German energy decision. So, I believe all in all it has been a success story, but a slow process, 